We asked Federal Immigration Minister Sean Fraser's office for a comment on this, but he, we did not get one in time for this show. So, will Legault's letter force the feds to do more at Roxham Road? Earlier, I spoke to Jean-François Roberge, Quebec's minister responsible for Canadian relations and the Canadian francophonie. Hi, Minister Roberge. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's a pleasure. So this has been an issue for years. I just wanted to know, why did, Premier, uh, why did Premier Legault send this letter now? Well, as you said, it was uh, an issue for, for years. But uh, here in Quebec, we are proud of our tradition of uh, welcoming refugees. You know, as long as it was like 1,000, 2,000, it was okay. But now our capacity are exceeded. We cannot no longer uh, take care uh, of, uh, of all the, those refugees, you know. Uh, we have so, some social assistance issues, health care issues, housing issues. So this is why uh, Prime, uh, Prime Minister Legault wrote a letter to Mr. Trudeau. Uh, something has to change, and it's, it's, uh, it's a crisis. Now, in the letter, Premier Legault also notes how a large proportion of the asylum seekers don't speak French, and that makes integration more complicated. I wanted to ask you, if most of these people did speak French, would you not be asking for the federal government's help? No, because it's a question of numbers, you know. If we have a housing uh, crisis, if we have education crisis, you know, it's like, uh, it's like we have to build 13 schools 13 new schools within one year to take care of all those kids you know it, it's it's impossible even even if they they uh, they would speak french uh, it's a question of numbers and uh, we simply don't have the capacity to handle that many people right now this is why other provinces have to uh, to do their their share we did more than our share in quebec so what does that mean, do their share? Because we know that some of these um, uh, asylum seekers have now been sent to eastern Ontario. Uh, when you say do their share, are you basically looking for the federal government to bring buses to Quebec to bring some of these asylum seekers to other provinces? Well, yes, and uh, we'll say that we appreciate that uh, within the, the previous week, uh, most of those uh, irregular uh, asylum seekers, you know, coming through Roxham Road has, uh, has been transported to other provinces to take care of them. As in the fact is to take care of them, to, to give them all they need. Uh, but we want to be sure that uh, we come to a sustainable system because, uh, you know, the, in the past year, in 2022, here in Quebec, we received 39,000 people crossing, uh, crossing Roxham Rock, Road, you know. So irregular entries are, are huge here, and we, we don't have the capacity to, uh, to take care uh, of them right now. This is why it's really important that uh, the federal government, um, you know, uh, control the borders you know mm -hmm. some sometime federal government wants to tell the provinces how to manage health care how to manage environment how to manage education but they have to manage borders is their responsibility so what's the quebec government's ask do they want roxham road and that opening there because it is an opening do they want that just to be completely closed off because Conversely, some people are saying is that if you close off Roxham Road, that the problem will just pop up somewhere else along the border. A simple solution won't uh, do it. Uh, you know, we have to, uh, to uh, renegotiate with United States the safe third country agreement. And it's important that for Mr. Trudeau, uh, this is now the first priority. It's, it's the duty of the Premier uh, of Canada to take control of the borders of Canada. I think Canadian thinks uh, it's important, of course. So uh, there's a meeting with Mr. Biden coming soon, and this should be the number one uh, priority for, for uh, Mr. Trudeau. Has uh, Premier Legault spoken to Prime Minister Trudeau about making it the number one priority? And, and if so, what has he heard about that? Well, Mr. Trudeau uh, said he, he's open mind. He wants to discuss it with Mr. Biden, but 
we don't have to discuss it. We have to renegotiate it. It's really important because uh, I think that uh, now uh, that uh, other provinces, you know, they, they raised their hand. They said, yes, we, we, we can take uh, those, uh, those new uh, asylum seekers, even though they, they go through irregular entries. Uh, it, it, will, it will be difficult for other provinces because the numbers are huge. You know, it's hundreds and hundreds. Every day, every day, and uh, maybe uh, now it would be a national issue, not only a Quebec issue, but a national issue. It's, it's a Canadian issue, and uh, it's important that the federal government uh, take some notes and uh, make it a top priority uh, now. What about the discussions that your government, the provincial government, is having with officials in the United States? Is that really making any progress at all? Well, uh, Mr. Legault uh, talked to uh, Americans uh, the, the last week, uh, the, uh, the ambassador, and uh, they had some great discussion. And Mr. Legault bring this, uh, this, this, uh, this matter, of course. Uh, I think they are open mind, but they have to realize that for us, it's not a question, you know, uh, like others. It's really important because um, it's a humanitarian issue. You know, we, we want to take care of them. We want to give them uh, a roof. We want to give them all they need to go through winters, uh, to, through the winter here in Canada. And uh, just to, to say that, oh, yeah, we, we, are, we are gentle. We, we, are, we are happy. We are open mind. We want to welcome refugees. It's not enough, you know. When, when they are two number, we are the, if they are two, uh, two number, you know, uh, we, we can't. We can't uh, respect what we want to do with them. Just lastly, I only have about 30 seconds left, but your government is also seeking financial reimbursement of all costs related to the reception and integration of asylum seekers. How much money are you asking for? Well, we will count it because uh, the flow and the, the pressure on our public services are huge. You know, uh, education, housing, social assistance, uh, health. Uh, it, we're talking about more than... 50,000 people living here in Quebec since uh, three years. They came, and it's really long uh, for, for the government, uh, for the federal government, to go through all the procedure. So uh, we will come back with, with a number, but we want an engagement from the federal government that they will, they will pay the bills. Mr. Robert, I'm going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate it. It was a pleasure. Thank you.